Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to talk to you about an Olympus BX51. This particular 51 is set up for a pathologist and our Mo surgeon. We're getting ready to deliver it next week. So we wanted to do a demo that will help them and then they, they'll kind of know or it will help you if you're watching this video go through your microscope. So Michael's going to come in. We're going to talk about it. So first, we're going to, we have a tilting head on this scope. 10x by 22 millimeter field of view eyepieces. Um, the, we'll put some rubber eye guards on here for comfort. You have a diopter tube on this side. Nice tilting feature. You can put a trinocular head on here. You might have a fixed binocular head. You might have an intermediate piece underneath here that um, sends light to the camera. So we call it a U-TRU. This uh, application, we have a five place nose piece. So we're gonna lower the stage anytime we're taking the nose piece off three millimeter Allen wrench, which is built into your scope, usually right here. If you don't have it, you can pick up a set of uh, metric Allen keys at uh, Walmart or Amazon or Lowe's, Home Depot, what have you. Uh, since it's set up for a pathologist, we have a plan 2X, 4X, 10X, 20X, and 40X objective. You might have a six place nose piece on your scope if you need more objectives. You might have a different objective configuration, but we're just kind of showing you um, what this particular pathologist wants or most surgeon 2x is very important to them anytime you have a 2x you need to flip out condenser we'll show you that in just a second we have a fixed stage on this scope sometimes you'll see a coaxial con coaxial control here or here on the left hand side if um if you want to use the stage you might have that this uh this doctor pushes the slide with their fingers so we have that on there um, we're gonna take the stage off lower it again so we don't crash it into the objectives and we're going to flip that top lens out. So once we do that, we'll raise the stage back up. We'll lower the substage condenser. And you can see that this condenser flips in and out. So you're going to have uh, the top element flipped out when you have the 2X in, um, 4X. Sometimes you need to flip it out for the 4X to fill the field completely, depending on which um, 4X is on the scope that you have. This one's fine. You don't need it. Um, and you'll flip it in whenever you go 10, 20, 40, or anything higher. You have a field diaphragm that'll help you set color illumination. We have another video that we can link in the description that'll help you that. The reason it's important to set color illumination is it helps you with parfocality and the adjustment of the light. So when you go from objective to objective, there's not a lot of focus. Specifications is within a quarter of a turn, but you usually can get it perfect. Uh, so there's not focus in between, which will help you with speed. You have a your rheostat right here. These filters, we get a lot of questions on 51s about these filters. Uh, there's a neutral density filter here, a neutral density filter here, a daylight blue filter. See when we click that one out, the light's kind of yellow looking. So you want that, that'll give you a crisp, white, nice looking light. And this is an open position. You can add... Um, you can add whatever filter you have in there. Like if you're using the scope for phase contrast, you might put a green filter in there. So uh, one other thing that we want to talk to you about is this knob here. So this knob is very comfortable. It'll help you, um, it sticks out a little bit on the fine focus shaft and it will help you focus. It might be a more comfortable thing or ergonomic thing. So you take your Allen wrench here. If you want to move it from the right side to the left, you can screw that out and then we'll go over here. To the other side and then there's a little cap here Let's see if i can get it out usually you get it with your fingernail or a razor knife and uh it hides the screw hole and then you can move that knob then you take the little cap put it back on the other side and while we're here oh While we're here on this side, we'll talk about the tension. So if you ever notice the stage drifting down, see how that's rotating without me touching it? Sometimes this, this happens and you hit the, you accidentally hit this tensioner with your hand when you're adjusting the course focus. If that's ever happening, that's the first thing to try. The next thing to try um, would be this right here. So you counter turn the knobs and then there's a spring inside of here, right here. Sometimes the spring will flatten out, so you might want to give it a little bit of a bend, and then that'll help resolve that issue too if the tensioner doesn't work. So just a couple little maintenance tips and tricks for you. 
Um, last thing, we're going to show you how to change the bulb. So we're going to make sure, anytime we're changing the bulb, make sure the scope's off and unplugged. Remove the Allen wrench. There's a hole right here. So we're going to loosen this screw in there. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get in there. I wasn't in it the first time. Once you loosen that, unplug right here. I'm going to show you right there. You got to twist this, pull, and then that slides right off. If you don't loosen that screw, this lamp house won't come off. You think it's stuck, but it's not. That screw's just tighten. Three millimeter Allen wrench goes right here in top. Loosen that. I was running this scope, so it's really hot. So we're not going to take it out, but you would press these prongs down, grab the bulb with a Kim wipe, lift it out. And then without touching the new bulb, you know, use the protective wrapper or another Kim wipe, push the, push these pins down and insert the new bulb. So very, very simple. And you would put the whole thing back together. Tighten the screw back. Put the lamp house back on, hold it on there and kind of make sure it's pressed up against the scope. And then you'll tighten it back on. See the lamp house is still a little loose. Now it's tight. See it don't come off. And then you would push this back in. So that's basically it on this microscope. So if you have any questions about this scope or any other microscopes, spe uh, specifically the BX models, give us a call 919-775-5596. You can also email us at info at mondaymicroscope.com. That's Monday with a U. If you want to buy this scope or any of these parts, you can find them at our e-commerce marketplace, microscopemarketplace.com. If this video brought you value, please like and subscribe. Thanks.